Hello, this is Eric again. Welcome back to part 5 of this Blender for Beginners tutorial series. And the main thing I'm going to tell you about in this part is how to delete and add vertices, edges and uh, faces. So let's begin. Uh, I have my cube here. I'll press tab to get into edit mode. And we have these vertices here. Now when I have this vertex selected here and I press delete, I can uh, choose to delete vertices, edges or faces. Now in this case I only have one vertex selected so by pressing faces nothing will happen and if I press edges nothing will happen but if I press vertices this vertex will disappear but also the edges that connected this vertex to the other uh, vertices. Now if I go back and I choose edge mode, I select an edge, press delete and this time I select edges. You can see that okay this edge disappeared and also the faces that were connected to those uh, to that edge. Back again and this time I'll choose edge mode and I'll press delete Oh, sorry, face mode, and then I press delete and uh, delete the face. I've deleted only this face of the cube. So, okay, that's pretty simple. We uh, simply select what we want to uh, delete, and we press delete, and we choose what kind of option we're, we're interested in. Uh, if we want to delete this edge, for instance, and if we don't want to toggle to edge mode, uh, we could simply shift click, I'll hold down shift and select the other vertices and then press delete. You see now we have vertices selected there and we have another vertex selected there. We select multiple objects by holding down shift while selecting or right clicking these objects and if I press delete here this now makes more sense that I can delete an edge in vertice mode. So by deleting that one I get the same uh, same result as when I had the edge select mode and deleted the edge. I selected the edge and then deleted it. So deleting is pretty straightforward. But how do we do when we want to create new stuff? Well, uh, this is an example. If we create, we, we delete this face here, uh, we have this box. And uh, let's say I want to uh, create uh, this is going to look like a cardboard box uh, so I really want it to uh, to have these uh, a lid that can be folded looks like it's folded over if you ever seen the uh, the drop box icon uh, that's pretty much a box with uh, uh, an open box so to speak so if I want to create uh, this uh, this look of uh, lids to this box uh, I could do that using extrude. So you can see here I have selected two vertices one, two. By holding shift I can select both of them at the same time. By pressing uh, let's see here. First I want to look at it from uh, this angle right here. Is that it? Yeah that's it. Uh, so I'm looking at it from the right perspective and I don't I want the orthogonal view so I press 5 to get orthogonality you see there I have 1 2 selected press 3 again to get the right side and now if I have these two vertices selected and I press E for extrude E now E uh, kind of makes a copy of this object, a copy that is connected to the original objects that are selected. And it also acts, activates uh, like the grab command, the, the G or the move command. Uh, so just by pressing E now and then moving my mouse a little bit, you can see that okay, it seems like I have this vertice here and it's moved away from the original vertices. So, okay, I'll drag him a bit far away 
and then I can left click to select and you can see we've actually built a kind of foldable lid for this box by using the extrude command and the reason I did this in orthogonal view and having the right side connected is that when moving these the movement is confined in a Z Y direction so by looking at it from uh, from the front side you can see that these are perfectly aligned if I had done this let's try this again uh, press extrude if I've done this in perspective view press E and move it up boom and then take a look at it you can see it's all it's uh, twisted and that's because it's used the perspective of things so I had a perspective when I did the move and it's moved along that perspective plane so to speak so it's not confined to any particular axis or planes and if I want to do this to a single vertices or vertex I can do that too uh, just select it, press E, move it up away a bit, and we've created a new uh, vertice, or uh, actually we've created a we created an edge going between the two vertices. And I can continue this, pressing E again, moving it up, and now I've created uh, a new edge. And if I want to connect this edge to that edge or this vertex to that vertex using an edge I can simply right click shift right click so I have them both selected and then press F now F is the short key for uh, creating let's see make edge face and if I have all of these four selected and pressing F I actually create a face or if I want to do it through the menu it's down here faces and F make edge face so now I've created an edge since I was working in a in perspective it's kind of skewed so just by using extrude which is kind of a, a duplicate and move command you can you can see that you can do a lot of things uh, but uh, just to give you a few more examples let's see if I want to select I've selected all of these four vertices here and I select front view and I press E for extrude and then I want to raise it but I want to confine it in say the Z direction I press Z to confine it to the Z direction just like the grab tool uh, so now it's confined to Z direction and I want to move it one unit I can simply press uh, one and then I get exactly one unit and then I press enter to select okay so that kind of combined what we learned in previous tutorials and it's the exact same thing by using extrude as it is by using grab but what do we have here now yeah we've extruded this uh, these edges all four edges into a higher layer and this actually created a higher box with these edges or vertices down in the middle and uh, sometimes this is exactly what you want if you want more detail in your model uh, you actually want these extra vertices along the sides then you can manipulate and change the, the form of the object so I can move these out a bit uh, let's see if I can select uh, that edge as well move it out I'll use uh, edge select in this case move it out and I can move it out but uh, you don't have to do it in that order F say for instance I want an additional edge along this uh, along here as well with additional vertices so I would like to manipulate this as well and then I'd like to introduce you to another tool uh, which is this one loop cut and slide you simply select it and by going towards a uh, an edge here you can see that it creates this uh, pinkish line 
uh, that will show you what the tool will, will do if you left click so if I move it along this edge you can see that it will try to create a, a cut or edges, additional edges along this face and if I move it along this edge you can see that it will create additional edges along that way uh, the hor horizontal plane and this is more like the vertical plane of the cube so by simply pressing somewhere uh, in the vicinity of this edge left click and now we have the edge but it, we're not there yet because we can still we can still slide this because it was loop cut and slide so now we've done the loop cut but we can slide it anywhere we want so now we just need to see where do we want it well maybe we want it up here and I left click again and we got it and now I have the additional edges so I can select the edge and do whatever I want with it so I can change that as well Now the loop cut is something that I use fairly often, so I'd like to show you the, uh, the short key for it as well. You simply deselect everything, press A, so everything is unselected, and then Control R. Control R is the hot key for this command. And then we can create a new loop cut on this way. And select where it's going to be, left click. Okay. And the last thing I want to show you in this tutorial, or this part, is the, the knife. Uh, so if I wanted to add more vertices in this area, I could simply, let's unselect everything, and then we have here uh, the knife tool. By selecting that, uh, we can simply cut through over there. and then press enter and this will add more vertices in this area so in this tutorial we went through a lot I first described how things can be deleted uh, vertices, edges or faces I then described how new uh, vertices could be created new vertices, edges and faces using the extrude tool but also how edges and faces can be created by connecting multiple vertices and using the F key. And then I show you how you can add more detail into, a, into an already existing model by using the loop cut. And finally I introduce the knife. So that's it for this tutorial. And in the next one we will do our very first Blender model simply by using the tools that we've learned so far. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.